Okay, hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the blast now. So, continuing from the last tutorial, um, let's make a new layer and call it blast. And so, around frame 15 is where the gun finished coming out. Hey, 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 just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so 15, yeah. And so, I'm going to use the color red, and I'm just going to have this little like charge up animation so it's gonna be like spiraling inwards towards the center but we're gonna have particles doing that and since you guys know how to do particles you should be able to do this easily so when I do charge ups I usually have like this little trail behind the particles so like you see the with the onion skin you see this little outline or fade away thing so just like trace part of it and then draw a new um, extended one and so we're just gonna make it come into like a little ball right there I'm just gonna have it like have stuff stick out here and there and it's gonna go back in so make a ball again and just like a little charge I guess and one line isn't gonna be enough we're gonna add some more later once we get this little charge done just have it randomly stick out and you want this to go on for quite a while because um, you want the viewers to see the actual charge um, so like it's not lame or anything and so it's just about to explode but not yet um, so we'll just leave that there for now let's just play that a little bit it looks a little sketchy Let's do it at a hundred percent zoom. So yeah, it's a bit fast. Let's make the rest of the particles slower. So zoom back in and just have the particles take its time to get there. Um, yeah, just do some really cool motion of the particles like they could be going counterclockwise or clockwise either way um, as long as it goes towards the center and just have it like wavy Oops. and yeah um, you should start some particles at different frames too not just all in the first one so it looks like particles are just coming out of nowhere and just getting sucked into that little death hole And so we'll do a little spin that one. And so let's like change the brush size. And first one, I'll just do like a little circle thing. So start, start small, make it get bigger and bigger and then bigger. It's gotta get sucked into this death ball again. <laughs> That one doesn't look too bad. I'll actually do a few more of those. Just have one down here. And when you're doing this, it could like be random. It should be random. It shouldn't be in like a certain order or anything. Um, if it does, your animation might be boring. Yeah. So I'll just have a few more of those. I might speed up this part so the video isn't too long. And I don't have to break it up into parts. I might add a few more later, I don't know. But anyways, there's a charge up and as you can see it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Let's have a little more um, death ball motion here. Let's go back to smaller brush and then like just a little blob here and there. And then let's kinda of have it like go crazy, just spaz out. And then um, we'll have it come back in for the anticipation, and and then I'll unleash a beast. That's a really lame line, but whatever. And so it's all spread out, and let's add some easing here. Um, yeah, just redraw that 
kind of. And then we'll just have it shrink back into this little ball. And then. Kaboosh! It blows up. No. Okay, so. Now it's back in a ball, and then. Wait. Back into a ball. And then. It shoots out. Um. Some beam. Which is spiky, apparently. So I like to round off the end because I don't know. It it's just my style, I guess. Or it's how I learned how to draw these things. I don't know. But yeah, just have like in the beginning there should be like a little things going outwards like that and some going forward. And then at the end there's gonna be like a huge energy thing and so but you really want to shoot up really fast because it shows a lot of force into it and it's cool okay I should probably add in between there it's a bit too fast um, move the onion skin forward a little so I can see the next ring and then just have a little thing it's gonna go by really fast so the viewers can't really tell if it's um, gonna be cool or not or constant or whatever and so I'm gonna zoom out a little so I can draw the blast